up guys, Brandon Johnson here again, and thanks for joining me. Today we're looking at a classic, old-time fiddle tune called Dungan. So we're going to be playing this out of capo 3, which means we're playing it in the B-flat chord position. And then the B part of this song is played out of the E minor chord position. I've heard a couple versions of this song. The old-timey versions are A-A-B-B form. And then I've heard a Norman Blake version where he plays it A-A-B-B-B form. So he has an extra B in there. Which is interesting. So if you've heard it a different way, or if you've heard it with that extra B, let me know down in the comments. I'd be curious to know if anybody else plays it that way. But in this lesson, I'm just doing the standard AABB form with a repeat at the end of each section. So I hope you enjoy this one. And let's check it out. Okay, let's check out Dun Gone. So you'll see in this song there's a pickup measure. And there's only two notes in that pickup measure. There's the fourth fret G to 2nd fret G. And another way you could play that is you could start this off with an open B. But for some reason I kind of like playing it this way because it gives it kind of a descending feel. You know, it gives it the feeling that it's a descending line. And then that open G is the beginning of measure number 1. So you're landing on that open G on a downstroke. And then we're going to kind of descend and we're going to end up landing on the 3rd fret low E on a downstroke. And that's going to bring us into our G position, because we're playing over a G chord here. And then you'll see a quick pause there, and a downstroke on the open G to 3rd fret B. And that's just kind of a little strum accent that comes after that descending line. see we're, we're kind of staying in that G chord position and then staying here in this position we're just going to play a downstroke on the open G and an upstroke on the third fret B and then at the end there you see that open E to third fret B kind of hold that G chord position. I don't have any notes on the high E being played. The high E is left open. So the chord we're really playing is like a G without the high E. Okay, let's play measure number one now, start to finish. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and that's going to bring us into measure number two. Looking at measure number two now, we're playing over a G chord for the first three quarter notes of this measure. And then there's a D chord on the last quarter note of this measure. And we're going all the way up here to the high E string when we play over this G chord. And we're going to start in a downstroke on the high open E. So it's open, two, three, open. And then the same thing on the B string. Okay, and we're playing that with our index and our middle finger. And then at this point, we're going to move up to the 4th fret G and 3rd fret B, and we're going to play a downstroke. And then an upstroke on the open, to open, and then we're going to move it down 1 fret, and then we're going to move it down another fret, and we're just going to hold that one. So we're taking this chord shape, that 4th fret G, 3rd fret B, 
and we're just moving it down a fret and then down a fret again. And in between each move, we're going to play an upstroke on the open G and open B. So it's going to sound something like this. And then at the end you'll see the two pickup notes that we played at the beginning of measure number one. And that's, that's of course going to lead into measure number three, which is the same as measure number one. Okay, let's play measure number two start to finish. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And in this situation, you might find it easier to play that open B here. You're already going to be in this position. So you could just play instead of. So it's up to you, whatever is easiest. All right, let's play measures one and two now, start to finish. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and that's going to lead us into measure number three. Okay, looking at measure number three, we're playing over a G chord again, and you'll see that measure number three is identical to measure number one, and we had the pickup, the two pickup notes, at the end of measure number two. Okay, and then looking at measure number four, it's very, very similar to measure number two, but it's not identical. It starts out the same way, so we're playing open to two to three in the high E, and then again on the B, but instead of going open here, we're going to go to the open G, and then we're going to play kind of what is a typical blue, bluegrass turnaround. Okay, so it's going to be... Okay, so the tough move there is where we go from the open G on an upstroke to the 4th fret G on a downstroke. Mm -hmm. And that kind of gives it a, a sense of a conclusion, like the, the lick is concluding right here. Okay, let's play measures three and four now, start to finish. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's play the entire first part, measures one through four, all the way through. One, two, three, four. Four.
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Thank you.